Now I will go ahead with the next step of the assembly, installing the ultrasonic ranger on top of the chassis. All the necessary parts are in this bag which is called ultrasonic installation package. I will take them out. And I'll start by peeling the protective paper layer on top of this plastic part. I'll start from one corner. Peeling the paper like this. Repeat the same procedure with the other side. Once the paper is removed, it looks nice and shiny, well protected during transportation. The pillars to hold this part right here are in this plastic bag together with all the necessary bolts and nuts. I'll take them out. All the bolts and nuts They are actually two different sizes. Slightly shorter and slightly longer bolts. I would expect that the longer ones are the M by 3 and the shorter ones are actually They all appear to be of the same type, so the fact that some of them are slightly shorter should be insignificant. They all should be roughly 3 by 8 as far as I can see from the instruction manual. So I can simply go ahead and start mounting the pillars on the chassis. Actually, I will go ahead and do it the other way around. First, I will assemble the pillars on this plate, base plate. Insert the bolt through the base plate and tighten the pillar on it as shown on the picture. All the pillars on the same side Do not over tight since the pillars will need to be adjusted once when we mount it here. I succeeded already to make a small mistake actually here at the front part where these sticking parts are I will need to mount these holders for the ultrasonic ranger, they have to be mounted with this sticking part toward the inside. So protrude the bolt through here and here. Make sure I use as long as possible bolt for this mounting. Do not over tight so we can adjust everything. Repeat the same here. insert the bolt through this mounting part this is slightly short bolt so I'll use this one looks slightly longer 
it will work better here and do not over tight so the things will be slightly loose for adjustments now we will mount it with the red parts on the same side where the LEDs are which is the front side of the robot again taking a bolt here we can use some of the shorter ones since the chassis is not very thick loosely tighten use another relatively shorter one to go diagonal so tensions can be released across the diagonal mechanically loosely, do not tighten same for this one going the other diagonal and finally the last one right here now I can go ahead and tighten the bottom once the bottom is tightened I can tighten the two back ones here and here I will not tighten those two since I may need to adjust those two mounting points where the ultrasonic ranger will be mounted next I will take the cable for the ultrasonic ranger the cable appears to be symmetric fully symmetric with those two keys pointing toward those two slots right here insert the cable in place as shown on this picture now I will protrude the cable through this opening here which has optional mounting for servo I may actually upgrade this kit with a servo this kit is in addition to anything else upgradable which makes it really cool and now placing the ultrasonic ranger behind those two mounting pots I will try to use a little bit longer bolts if possible mount it in place with the bolt from the front again the same with this side insert the bolt put the nut since this bolt is noticeably longer and I want the robot to look nicer and I don't have any more longer bolts I'll take it out pick a shorter one make it symmetric the robot will look much nicer my screwdriver appears to be slightly magnetic which could be used to our advantage now I can go ahead tighten everything in place and we are done I can go ahead and connect the ultrasonic ranger its cable to this connector right here again matching the keys to the proper slots the cable is in place and I can insert it like this to make it nice and neat this step is completed and it starts to look more and more like robot we even have some spares we had some spares with the previous step as well 
So the people from Iaboom have obviously been nice enough to offer us and the spares. Hope you enjoyed this step and please stay tuned for the next step installing the battery and the microbit controller.